Hello and welcome to Teaching Miss Daisy with me, Dom Bailey, and my assistant, Daisy. Cut there. With me, oh, and my assistant, oh. Hello and welcome to Teaching Miss Daisy with me, Dom Bailey, and my assistant, Daisy. So today we're going to make homemade margarine. However, there's a twist. We're going to add a sixth ingredient, which is basil. But, first things first, what's today's margarine myth? I think we should go to the phone lines. Daisy, would you please pick a caller? Anyone you want. Any caller you want, Daisy. This one? Can you pick a caller? Just pick, pick one caller. Wag your tail for number one. No. Wag your tail for number two. Oh. We've got Steve. Is it Steve on the line? Hello, Steve. Hello, Tom. What's today's margarine myth, then, Steve? Oh, well, I've heard that ants won't touch margarine when it's left out in the open. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Steve. That's a classic. I've heard that one quite a few times, actually. Allow me to explain. <laughs> right, my little workers, move. You see, ants enjoy animal fat and proteins. It's a perfect breeding ground. But margarine contains natural plant oils and no sugar. So it may be useless for ants, but it's a healthy and tasty spread for us. Isn't that right, Daisy? Yes. So whilst the ants carry on breeding, let's make our homemade basil margarine. OK, so take your usual five ingredients. That is oil, milk, egg yolk, sea salt, lemon juice, and our sixth ingredient, which on this occasion is basil. But for your sixth ingredient, you can use anything you fancy, really. You could use paprika, you can use garlic. Really, we're going to carry on, are we? Cut there. OK. 41, take 12. 